So uh, the body starts to have aches or pains. Lose your appetite, increase your appetite, uh, can't sleep, want to sleep all the time. All of these things, if you don't know to look for those things, uh, can be indications of depression or mass depression. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hey there, thanks for joining me. Steve Arterburn here. We're Going Deeper and we're looking at some things not to say or do around depressed people. So, you discover or somebody says to you, I'm really depressed. One of the worst things you could ever say, you don't look depressed. <laughs> what a horrible thing. Now, depression sometimes has some really obvious symptoms, like a person can't get out of bed. I think I've told you that I have a great aunt who was so depressed, she would go over to somebody's home, go to bed, and stay there for a month. Okay. So that's, that looks like depression to me. But sometimes depression is masked by other things. Sometimes a person is impulsive and compulsive. Maybe they get involved in uh, compulsive drinking or gambling or something like that to try to just stimulate something in themselves to overcome the depression. Maybe they become a compulsive exerciser because they're trying to fight their way out of the depression. Depression can mask itself as anxiety or some kind of, uh, like a person with all these somatic complaints, every part of my body is aching. And really you could say that when you're depressed and you're not really dealing with it, everything in you eventually is going to scream at you, you're depressed. So uh, the body starts to have aches or pains. Lose your appetite. Increase your appetite. Uh, can't sleep. Want to sleep all the time. All of these things, if you don't know to look for those things, uh, can be indications of depression or mass depression. What a person looks like when they're all dressed and talking to you and feeling better about themselves has nothing to do with whether or not that person is depressed. So it would be a really crummy thing to respond to them, well, you don't look depressed. One of the things that uh, is characteristic of a depressed person, I've felt it many times, is what you might call numbness. There's this just an inability to feel joy, happiness, or really feel anything about what anybody's feeling other than me. You just kind of get so into your own feelings that it doesn't matter what other people feel. And, and so you might be viewed as a person that's not caring, but what you are is a person that's not dealing with your depression. Rather than ever say to somebody, you don't look depressed, Let's go back to this little mantra, let's get curious, never furious. So let's get curious. Let's ask this person some questions. Um, why do you think you're depressed? What are some things you've experienced before that you're experiencing now? Things like that that show that you really care about this person. But the worst thing is to look at them and to say you don't look depressed. Don't do that. If somebody you love or care about is struggling with depression. I'll see you next time right back here on Going Deeper with Steve Arterburn. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.